Hello everyone and welcome to Timin Weekly News. I'm the Dream and here is the first news of this week. As you may have already heard, on May 22nd, music data sources reported that Jimin's Spotify profile has now surpassed 1 billion streams across all credits, becoming the fastest Korean K-pop solo artist in history to reach this milestone. It took him only 393 days to achieve those numbers, breaking the previous record set just two months ago by another BTS member, Jungkook. And of course, as always, armies were so proud of Jimin for achieving such a major career milestone, and we had nothing but praise for him and his work ethic, and we sent him so many beautiful congratulatory messages. Of course, on Twitter, and it could be seen in the volume of tweets talking about his record and applauding him that caused numerous trends to enter the Twitter worldwide trend list, including hashtags like fastest 1 billion soloist Jimin and keywords like Spotify legend Jimin, fastest billion by Jimin, 1 billion for Jimin and King Jimin. And now, just at the end of last week on May 26th, we got the official news from the Guinness World Records that our Jimini broke the record previously held by Jungkook and is now the fastest male K-pop soloist to reach 1 billion streams on Spotify. According to Guinness, Jimini's most streamed tracks were with you with 230 million streams and like crazy with 181 million streams directly attributing his achievement to the release of his new solo album face so with this record-breaking achievement now officially confirmed and certified by guinness world records our proud hearts grew even bigger and stronger. And we thank you, Timini, for always giving us amazing music and cheers to your inspiring journey, to all the history that you've made and to more joys and celebrations to come. So, of course, to celebrate this Timini world record as fastest Korean K-pop soloist to achieve 1 billion streams on Spotify, Jimin Bar China, Jimini fanbase prepared three beautiful Jimin billboards at the Honda Scarlet big screen. And here is the footage from Armies who already went to the site and saw those beautiful ads in person. They look absolutely grand and majestic and we thank you so so much to Jimin Bar China fanbase for this wonderful support and also if we are talking about the celebrations of Jimini amazing record Jimini fanbase Jimin Asia Pacific decided to donate to UNICEF under Jimin's name to give back to society the magazine Allure Korea covered this Jimin Spotify 1 billion Guinness World Record and also mentioned his like crazy ranking number one on Billboard Hot 100 and the fans' donation to UNICEF to celebrate reaching this milestone as well. And they wrote in the article to celebrate Jimin's new record, fandoms in the Asia and Pacific region decided to donate to UNICEF in his name. We applaud the hearts of the fans who want to celebrate Jimin's brilliant achievements and good deeds. This week also, Jimin has been crowned as Male K-Pop Idol Dancer of 2023 in the poll conducted by the largest K-pop voting site King's Choice for four consecutive years with a whooping 11 million total votes. And also, Jimin ranks first in K-Doll individual monthly ranking. 
he accumulated 164 million votes in the month of May and extended his record as the idol with most monthly wins for 27 months overall. And next up, another two grand achievements of the week were First, that Jimin ranked as the most mentioned artist worldwide on social media for the month of May 2023, according to NetBase Quid. And the second one was that the hashtag Jimin has surpassed 70 million posts on Instagram. Our social media king continues to be the world's most used tag for a person on Instagram. Congratulations once again to our Jiminy for every record and achievement that he is setting and breaking constantly. We love to see it and we'll always make sure that our love and support reaches you every single day. And the next news, on May 27th, Jiminy returned to South Korea from his trip to London. He was of course eagerly awaited at the airport by K-Media and armies who once again prepared adorable banners with heartwarming message for him. And the banner that they were holding this time said you think the world belongs to you, don't you? No, the whole universe belongs to you. Which was truly adorable and we really hope that Jiminy saw the message along with other adorable banners that ARMY have prepared for him. And the armies who waited for Jiminy arrival also waited for another member who was returning from his trip on the same day, which was Taeyang returning from his trip to Paris. And I will tell you even more about this fun V-Min return to South Korea in the social media section. So our Jiminy entered the airport arrivals terminal wearing Dead Your Tears Capsule Men's Collection 2023 blouse, his usual adorable black bucket hat, jeans and a Dior bag. He was also wearing upon his arrival this very stylish silver watch from one of his favorite brand of watches that he wore many times before during various BTS activities and his V-lives. And many ARMY's hearts were absolutely melting away when they saw K-media pictures from Jiminy arrival on Twitter because Jiminy looked absolutely tiny and cute surrounded by his bodyguards. The image looked absolutely precious and armies were so delighted by it. So after Jiminy returned safely to South Korea from his trip to London, an amazing fun fact was revealed immediately on Twitter by one army who gave him a tour in Harry Potter Studios in London. And she revealed that Jimin is the biggest Slytherin she ever met. Which was not a surprise to us Jimin biased armies because we already knew that from the previous interviews where Jiminy shared his reasons for choosing the Slytherin house. We were so glad that Jiminy enjoyed his trip, which he further confirmed and shared with us on his Instagram. And I will tell you all about it again in social media section. So here is a full thread of the story that this army revealed about her encounter with Jiminy in London. So pause the video right now and read it for yourself. It is absolutely heartwarming and beautiful story that this army will remember for the rest of her life. 
So let's all thank her for being so professional, respectful and kind and bring honor to army family by staying level-headed and not making our Jiminy uncomfortable. I'm sure he will remember her kindness and this visit in his favorite Harry Potter spots forever. And finally, like always, after Jiminy arrival, K-Media released more than 20 photo articles about his airport appearance. So now, like always, I will share with you all the K-Media photos from Jiminy's airport appearance and the compilation of videos as well. Enjoy! And next up, this week's summary of Jiminy related mentions by entertainment media and personalities, celebrities and others. First, movie content provider Cineplay mentioned Jimin's OST on Fast X as one of the main points to watch the movie. And they said, First time as a Korean artist participates in the OST and puts his name on the credits. The song is addictive and both eyes and ears will be pleased. Next, Jimin's Hot 100 number one song Like Crazy was used as background music BGM in the preview for the next week's Amazing Saturday episode. Amazing Saturday is a very popular variety show that airs on TVN in South Korea. 
and we love to see that Jimini songs are so loved in his home country. And next up, K Media mentioned Jimin in an article about Tiffany and CEO's The Landmark, its history, and its reopening. And they said BTS member Jimin, who is serving as Tiffany Global Ambassador, also attended the reopening event in which he received attention throughout the event. This week also, Jimin sent a congratulatory message for Mnet M Countdown 800th episode and he said congratulations on the 800th episode of M Countdown and for making precious memories with BTS for a long time. 오랜 시간 동안 어, 저희 방탄소년단에게 소중한 추억을 만들어준 M Countdown의 800회를 진심으로 축하드립니다. And next, the Bollywood megastar Deepika Padukone used Jimin's face filter on her latest Instagram reel. It is so amazing to see that the megastars everywhere are being supportive to our incredible global superstar Jimini. Next, two popular Thai actors also shared Jimini's OST for Angel Part 1 on their Instagram stories. And we hope that this will bring many new listeners to this amazing song. And next up, the official page of Harry Potter Studio Tour shared Jimin's latest Instagram post about his Harry Potter tour on their Instagram story. And then Dior Fashion PR coordinator Evelyn Hua Chang shared Jimin's Instagram post touring Harry Potter Studios on her Instagram stories as well. And she wrote, this is crazy. And next, Korean Ice magazine posted about Jimin's setting a Spotify Guinness World Record on their Instagram account. And then right after that, Producer Evan shared on his Instagram story the same Ice Magazine's post about Jimin Guinness World Record on Spotify. And we really love to see the support that Jimin gets from the people he is working with. And next up, the final mention that I have for you this time is from Enhypen's Nikki, who has mentioned Jimini in his latest Weavers interview. And he said that Jimini is the artist who gives him inspiration to dance and he studied Jimin very closely for their new release and used Jimin as his reference. He also mentioned in this interview how he auditioned with Jimin's lie and how kind Jimin is in person. And the next news, Danmi picked up Korean male celebrities who have martial arts experience that are perfect for a battle action sequel of Knights of the Zodiac, Saint Seiya. Jimin won the survey with 53% of total votes. And in the article they shared on their page, they said... It is known that Jimin used his physical ability to learn Kendo, Taekwondo and Aikido from an early age. In particular, he started Kendo, which he continued for 8 years. Because he was influenced by the swordsman character Zoro in the manga One Piece. Jimin is known to have such a strong will that once he starts something, he devotes himself to practice until he masters it. It is clear that his high physical ability and strength of will are reflected in his performance. In the past, he has even performed Taekwondo during his performance.
And the next up to celebrate Jimin's 10th debut anniversary, Jimin Moon Rising fanbase prepared a Jimin themed bus. The bus will be driven around Seoul through different routes from June 10th to 16th. Every bus route also ends at Hype Building, so there's a chance Chimini might get to see it or hear about it. Let's cross our fingers for it to happen, because we want to make him so so happy when he sees it. And in addition, they also prepared a Cacao Talk banner ad to run on June 13th. Kakao Talk is the most widely used app in South Korea. And next, on May 30th, Angel Part 1, Chimini's collaboration song for Fast X, debuted at number 65 on Billboard's Hot 100 chart. And by doing so, Chimini now joined BTS as a whole as the fastest Korean acts in history to accumulate four entries on the Billboard Hot 100 in a single year. He surpassed BTS's record and became the fastest Korean act in history to chart for songs on the Billboard Hot 100 within just four months. And to remind you which entries they were, it was first Vibe at number 76 on January 28th, then Set Me Free Part 2 at number 30 on April 1st, then Like Crazy at number 1 on April 8th, and now Angel Part 1 at number 65 on May 30th. Angel Part 1 also debuted at 82 on the UK official singles chart, and this made Jimin the first Asian soloist to achieve the most entries on both charts of UK and USA. And by doing all of that, Jimin also joins the list of K-pop soloists with the most charting songs in Hot 100 history. Congratulations, Jimin! We are so extremely proud of you! Armies on Twitter also were very excited and congratulated Jimin as well with the takeover of the worldwide trends. And now the next section of the news will be the FESTA news. On May 31st, Korean Standard Time, we got our first FESTA content of this year, of this very special BTS's 10th anniversary FESTA. And it was, like every year, the timeline of FESTA celebrations. But this year, BTS, like always, surprised us and presented to us a very new type of schedule in a form of a Monopoly board game. So all the detective armies right away jumped into the opportunity and started guessing what those pictures on the game board could mean. Also, all the official BTS accounts on all platforms has changed their official layouts and profile photos for the upcoming FESTA celebrations. And then later the same day, May 31st, we got the first big surprise of the timeline, which was an announcement of a new digital single that BTS will release on June 9th to celebrate their 10th anniversary and it will be called Take 2. All seven members participated in Take 2 and the song conveys their appreciation towards ARMY for all the love we showered them with and their desire to always be together with us. We also found out that Suga participated in production of the song and RM and J-Hope participated in songwriting. Oh my goodness everyone, it is such a exciting news. I cannot wait for the second OT7 song this year that we're gonna get and it is for Festa and already the message of it warms our hearts so so much. 
And it is even more exciting for me because it is my birthday month and the song will be released just the day before my actual birthday. Last year I got from BTS on my birthday the Proof album release and this year we are getting a new digital single for the Festa celebration and it is the best present from BTS I could ever get. I am so happy and so excited to listen to the song with you for the first time. It's going to be so amazing. And then the next day on June 1st, BTS official website got updated with this image of an army room especially decorated for the festa celebrations if you click on the items that will be filled up during the festa time it will take you to the contents corresponding to it and as you can see at the bottom of the page those are all of the partners and offers and sponsors of this year's festa here is a list of every event connected to the festa celebrations that will be sponsored by those bts partners and the first collaboration with the sponsor project was already started and revealed by photoism photo studio from which we will get bts photo frames released in photoism stores nationwide in south korea and then will get the digital versions of each year's BTS's family photos for Festa. On June 1st, we got the 2014 version of the boys' individual photos. And here you can see Jimini photos from it. An absolute cutie pie. And also on that day, Take 2 has been added to BTS's official discography page which means we have to treat it like a official comeback song and take it to the absolute top and then on june 2nd we got the next content from our festa calendar which was a very beautiful and sweet but also mysterious ot7 photo and it was titled on official bts twitter page army forever bts forever 10 project and many other hashtags under the tweet with the photo that were hinting at something relating to the mysterious treasure hunt at first nobody knew what was this all about because we were all expecting an opening ceremony family portrait photos me included i was waiting for them with you all you can see my reaction to this photo and the initial info that was dropped on the 2nd of june but then later on k armies started to post new shots from the same photo shoot with the purple boxes at many locations around the seoul city and other cities from which our members come from like Degu with adorable messages to ARMY and it reminded armies about the treasure hunt of 2019 ARMYpedia when we were hunting all over the world for QR codes that were giving us the puzzle pieces connected to different events from BTS's history and at the end, it created a whole big image of our boys' photo shoot for the most beautiful moments in life part 1 album. So here you can see Timini message from the billboards that ARMY found around Seoul. And some of the ads on the billboards were a little clip videos like this one with another precious women moment it was absolutely a beautiful way to show armies that bts is everywhere around them the only little shame is that those billboards were presented only in the cities in south korea because we would have loved to see 
more of those billboards of BTS all over the world and hopefully we will get to see the rest of the photos from this beautiful photo shoot with purple army boxes a little bit later during this festa celebration and then next on 3rd of june another thing on the festa schedule was a new live stream of bang bang con 2023 and if any of you don't know, Bang Bang Con is a streaming replay of BTS's past concerts and fan meetings from DVDs that are now presented to you for free. With the exception of the Bang Bang Con Live in 2020, when they did an actual live concert, the first one they did entirely online for us during that time so this year at bang bang con we got the 2019 fifth master in seoul then the 2021 master suwuzu and the 2020 online concert from the map of the soul 7 album mods 1 where we could also see for the first time the solos of this album performed for us and even the cute little bt21 characters joined the fun with bang bang con posting their image watching the live stream on their official twitter page and one more surprise during this live stream was that right before the streaming of the master suzu we got three new never seen before dance practices first one of bts's intro performance for no from are you late to album then anpan man dance practice from love yourself tear album and then another never seen before boy with love dance practice from map of the soul persona album and then right before streaming of the mods one concert we got one more never seen before dance practice of the song i'm fine from love yourself answer album and after the streaming of Bang Bang Con was finished, Bangtan TV started to upload those never seen before dance practices on their channel. I'm finishing to record this video when they have uploaded the NO intro and Anpan Man dance practice already and I'm sure in the next few hours they will upload them all. So I will definitely react to all of those new dance practices in the next week. What an amazing start first few days of the Festa 2023 celebrations and I cannot wait for all the rest that is coming in the next weeks. And the final news of the week is not about Timini this time but about our leader RM. On June 1st, the Ministry of National Defense Remains Excavation Team officially appointed our Namjuni RM as a public relations ambassador for the Ministry of National Defense Remains Excavation and Investigation Team. And this team is an organization that carries out veterans project to excavate the remains of fallen korean war veterans and send them to their families rm will participate in public relations activities to inform the public of the remains excavation project in various ways the team's goal is to find and identify remains of war veterans from the korean war 1950 to 53 and provide peace to their families i think it's a very honorable and incredible role that our namjuni agreed to fulfill as our leader and i had to inform you all about it so like i said on june 1st rm officially 
got appointed as a public relations ambassador for the Ministry of National Defense, he took part in the official ceremony and as we can see from the photos from the event, it meant a great deal for him. The organization who appointed Namjoon said, We are very grateful and honored RM has graciously accepted to be an ambassador for the country and we look forward to seeing the interest and engagement of the public and families to grow by leaps and bounds. The organization said it chose RM as an ambassador because BTS's image of speaking out against racism, violence, prejudice and other social issues is in line with the humanitarian nature of the excavation project. And our leader Nam Juni said this in his speech. Finding the remains of the fallen is the matter of pride and great responsibility. As we honor all those who gave their lives in defense of our country and set the best example for them. As this is a nationally important project, we will do our best to promote the meaningful work of the excavation team both domestically and internationally. Like always, our gracious leader RM proudly representing BTS's team and his home country. And after the ceremony was finished, we got this official post on BTS's official Twitter account and also Namjoonie himself posted for us this selfie on his Instagram story. If you want to watch even more fun Jimini and BTS reaction that I cannot post on my YouTube channel, go to my Patreon and sign up right now. Also there you can request for me to do special reactions for you. So check it out and let's have even more awesome fun together. The entrance, the fancy entrance, yes! <laughs> this is me. Yes! <laughs> is this me? Uh, we're making music. Uh, uh, <laughs> I want all of this. Good representation. Oh, I love uh, this. Uh, oh my gosh. Oh my god. Okay, I was not ready. I was not ready. Let's go again. And the touching is too much. Too much. Oh, the hip rolling. The hip rolling was rolling. The short shirt and his look. Oh my god! Oh! oh, why he did that? Why? And now the social media updates. First, right after Chimini came back to South Korea from his trip to London on May 27th, he wrote a post on Weavers directed to Tay Tay. And he wrote, Eh, Taehyunga, you've come too late, right? And later, Taehyung responded to this message and wrote you said you wait you said let's go together and it was in the relation of them arriving from their separate trips to london and paris on the same day back to seoul and them entering the airport one after another but not together as they previously planned and it was so adorable to see another precious women moment like this one. And then later the same day, Chimini posted the cutest photos and videos of his tour in Harry Potter World Studios in London on his Instagram page. We were so glad and happy to see Chimini's side of this experience which we previously heard about from the army tour guide that gave him a wonderful tour of the harry potter studios but now we could see him having fun from his perspective and it was pure magic and incredible joy <laughs>
<웃음> 너무 취향적이야. 오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오